Sell your maps. Let's go into our material editor and we pick a slot and we're going to come down to diffuse and go to our mapping button. We're going to choose sell or mapping and say OK. In the process we can set all the coordinates if we like but the main rollout is down here in the parameters. We can set the cell color if we like uh, to whatever color and Actually, a cellular is really good for like sand, oceans, uh, alien skin, mosaics, things of that nature. So we can pick any color we want there. The division colors, the divisions are the separation between the uh, the little pieces of celluloid, you know, the little the, the, the round circular parts, the in-betweens. This is the in-betweens. So we can pick the colors there. And also we have our our characteristics of our cell here. Circular is more of an organic thing, you know, like an alien skin uh, type thing. Chips is more, um, it will look more mosaic in nature. And um, so we can set the size of these circular or angular chips, how far they're spread, how much they're smoothed out. But if we go over to fractal here, we're going to use a fractal or an algorithm to produce these. This is a word of caution. If you're going to go with more iterations, this does increase your rendering time and your processing time. Um, and your adaptive is uh, going to calculate on the fly. And the roughness is how rough you want these chips and uh, cellular circular cells to look. Your thresholds are your differences between the sizes. So what are low uh, little cells and what are me medium cells and what are our big cells? Uh, you know, so think of this as maybe acoustic ceiling tile, you know, and so you want to set the colors to the acoustic ceiling tile and you want to, how, how big is, is low sizes, how big is mid and how big is high. So also, you want to put this on an object and render it. It doesn't show up very well in our um, sample slot, the greatest. So you generally want to test this thing out. And uh, so I'm going to assign this thing here. Then I'm going to show the shadow on the material. And then I would run a render of said thing right so uh, you always want to run a render you'll get a better results of what it looks like this way uh, doing this so um, this is a cellular and used to produce things like sand pebble surfaces things of that nature